So good morning, um, Merry Christmas, or past happy holidays. So the stress levels of everyone is through the roof, so it's really nice to offer this up and force myself to commit to a little yoga. So we wanna hold, my name is Cheryl, and we'll be sharing yoga with you today. We'll work on digestion and uh, just calming your central nervous system, because everybody is just probably a little, there's a lot for us to digest now, so we'll just kinda Take it off. You'll need two blocks. You put them on the front. And I do a little yoga sculpt, so if you have weights, that would be great. So we're just going to inhale our arms up and exhale the arms out. A nice H-A. Inhale takes it up. And exhale brings it down. Inhale takes it up. Good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just walk it forward. Just start really small. Head is heavy, so anything you're holding in the neck and shoulders, you let it go. And inhale it up. Good. And, and then we're just going to twist. Inhale the spine. Exhale and turn. And twist the other way. Inhale, lift. Exhale and turn. And then we're going to come to center. I'm just going to do spinal rockings. Just cat and dog. Cat and dog. Cat and dog. And then we'll switch the orientation of our feet. So we're going to have a long build up and then we'll get to, to vinyasa. Just exhale the head heavy. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come on up. Arms out. So when we twist, we detox. So it's a mental and physical detox. So the mind gets filled with, with worry and doubt and fear. And you just sort of breathe that out or indigestion. And there's opposite arm over there's a lot of toxins in our air that we breathe spinal twist other side in our water and then survival stuff coming up so taking care of your health super important pull the knee into the chest another twist starting hug wrap and twist For the advanced practitioners, this nice little bind. Bring the hands together and breathe it out. Hold it. Let it go. Other side. Hug. Wrap. Twist. Other side. And then just one arm behind. Let it go. Joint mobility, flex point, flex point, flex point. Arms up, seated suns right here. Inhale, and exhale, cool. So we'll do a floor and then building up to our vinyasa practice. So digestion, knees into the chest, they call Pavana Muktasana when moving pose. So good for indigestion, stomach issues, pull the knee. Into the head, both hands around the knees, sending an energy, hold it, and then we'll switch knee into the chest, pull it, breathe, and then both knees into the chest, big hug, rock legs up, and then this is when you do that pointing and flexing, and then we'll just do leg lifts, just up and down. Getting the tension in the ankles out, baby inversion, and also strengthening the abdominal core. And we'll just do 50. Tell you when to stop. You're just flexing on the up and pointing on the down. Inhale it up. Exhale is always an out breath. So you're letting go. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So this toning the lower abdomen, so it will help back issues, making your legs nice and strong, your knees strong, or just your kitty cat probably in the background. This is a really nice get going, going to work, firing up your third chakra. Keep going. And let's keep it going. Good things are coming, and a lot of us have been through really hard couple of years it's like building the body back up and we'll come back to this just bring the knees in circle them and then we'll just do baby bridges 
Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, bring it down. 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 We're going to roll off to our side. Roll on to all fours. So we're just really being mindful to start gentle. We're going to come on our curl the toes back. You're going to sit here and get the hands unfurled. We'll sit for a little bit. Arms out. Okay. And then we're going to do our cat and our dog. So extend the spine. Inhale it up. Exhale it out. Inhale it up. And we'll do knee to chest. Knee in. Lengthen. Knee in. Lengthen. Knee in. Lengthen. And then just pull the foot back. Putting the weight on the ball of the foot. Lengthening out the calf. Good. Other side. Pull it in. Lengthen. Pull it in. Lengthen. Pull it in. Lengthen it out. Heavy head. Stretch into the calf muscle. And then we're going to come into our first bent knee downward. Out of Sunna. Oh, I can't even talk. Breathe. All right. Bring your forehead down, child pose. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Okay. 20 years in teaching, but you're still going to have days where you just can't pronounce. Curl the toes. Happy Mercury retrograde. Okay. Downward facing dog. Hold. Good. So it's a good time to go back to things that heal you. Kind of a lousy time to job hunt, sign contracts. Good time to go into self-care of the holidays. Right? We haven't had as much to spend on each other. It's been like the Grinch, right? But spending time and healing yourself, best investment ever. Right? So hand on the thigh, turn and twist, breathe. Lizard lunge. So every time you put that investment in yourself, you're going to be coming out a winner. Child pose. Let's do the other side. And you're just going to get in there. And just breathe in the hips, the shoulders, the neck. All right. Good. And then we're just going to come back to our cat and our dog. And then come back into downward dog. And we're going to come a high plank, downward dog, high plank, downward dog. I'm going to move the mat just a smidge. There we go. So I have more mats. This is when the plank, when your, um, this will help you with your planks, blocks. Downward dog, and come into high plank, downward dog, high plank, upward face, curl it back, child, downward face, high plank, knees upward, and just in that nice motion through. Waking the body up, taking time to get the cobwebs out. Nice. One more. Hold. Down. Sit a little bit. We call it Shakti. Just getting a little energy. Good. And then do a little mini yoga. Bring the left foot forward. Breathe into that sensation, and then slowly peel back. Use your belly, tight and tight. Another twist to unfurl the stuff that's not going right. Okay, child pose. Up, upward, other foot. Up you go, hands on the heart. Prayer twist. Good. And then take your child. Just relax. Let go of the belly. Let go of your stress. Let go of everything so then you can embrace better. Better. What you think of you is more important, making those promises for your own health. So then you have more energy, side to side twists, the feet, and the things you really like. And let's go back, and this time we'll come up to our warrior one, which you can't see. Come right here. Out. Warrior two, H-A, reverse. And then we're gonna bring our hands down 
forehead to knee. Pull it back. Come back to your blocks. Downward facing dog. And then into upward. Back. Warrior one. Right. Warrior two. Reverse. Okay. Child pose. Relax. This is your base where you go. Relax. And do one more set. This time the left. Hands in the heart. 45 and 90. Comes up. Reverse. Boom. Forehead to knee. Downward dog. And the knee is down, upward dog. So nice, gentle, sons. All right, it's after the holidays. People are warrior too, very stressed. So understanding in your body how to unstress yourself or unblock yourself. It's moving, finding a consistency, making your body feel good. So then at least your mind is steady, making better choices. In the new year, maybe. Let's do some back bend in winter. It's really important. So sphinx, palms flat, looking up. Palms together, hold, and then down. Good. And then we're, we'll do um, a shalabhasana. Hands behind the back and release the fingers. Look up, lift. Exhale, brings it down. Good. And then arms out to the side, fly it up. Exhale, brings it down. Right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot. Kick up, reach up, lift, bow pose. Nice, cobra, locust, bow. Just stick a child pose in between. This constant go, go, go wears out the body and the mind. Now it causes ahimsa, which is violence. We need to keep persevering, but doing so with easy transitions. In yoga, they call it sattvic. So balanced you know there's this tendency to grind it out above what the body can do which is causes um, a lot of confusion in the mind and in the body to try to reach a goal and that's good but reach it with gentleness and precision lift suck in the belly look in your bandhas and come on out good and then let's do a nice cobra up Looking one side and the other all the way down. Hands behind the back. Little locust legs together. Breathe. Back openers. Rest your neck. Cervical spine. In and out. Belly rise and fall. And then bow pose. Brian are the best because it really gets at that digestive system. Compressing the organs. I mean, there's no best. But it's, it's just really good for you, I guess I should say. Nice. And then come on up. We'll go into camel because it gets your thyroid, parathyroid, giving you a little boost. You're curling the toes. So I feel it like gives you a lot of length. It's a modification. And don't ever yank and grab. Support the low back, the lower lumbar, treating it with mindness, mindfulness and care coming in and out. It's about the poses and the asana serving you with integrity and you serving them. Finding your self-care, the hardest thing to do, but the most important thing to do. Hands on the low back, one hand, then the other still looking up, and looking back, hips forward, and come on forward. Breathe. And take immediate downward dog to release the stretch. All right. Breathe into that. Inhale it up. Exhale it back. High push up. And back. High push up. Good. Thread the needle. And we're going to go and do that whole thing all over again. Just two. There we go. We'll do one more camel. So I curl the toes. Maybe this is it. If you can go one hand, see how that is. And then the other, puff up the chest. Good, head back. And good. When you've been away from your practice, that's when the body is, it retards back to wherever you stopped. So it's humble. You can't have an ego in practice. But when you get back, the rewards are immediate. <laughs> Downward talk. Breathing in. Shaking the leg. Breathing out. Just 
one more upward and then we'll do another set of back bends building the confidence to go forward when you feel defeated that's what back bends are about heating the body when it feels cold in winter you know look up finding certainty inside yourself when the world itself is just really in major transition right really good to do this for yourself Belly rise, belly fall, Advasana. You're lying on your belly, toes in, heels out. Feel the comfort of your breath. That's really it. Yoga comforting the soul. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, take, sit up. Exhale, lower it down. And then we're going to do the, the, um, the locust. They call it Shalabhasana. Inhale, lift. And lower. Right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot. You can massage the little inner arches. And foot reflexology is your digestive tract, which everybody's is probably a little bit, it can get wonky. Inhale it up. A lot of stress, kick up reach, and we get to, in yoga, we get to peel away those layers and get to the good stuff of happy energy. It's like cleaning your house. You're just getting rid of the dead, stale energy in your body. So the 90 degree axis, all of the junk flows out of your body and you feel really good. Right? Never, never do I do yoga and go, ooh, I wish I didn't do that, right? In life, we have a lot of, ooh, I wish I didn't do that. And yoga is just to wring out all of those people pleasing, oh, I've got to do this and that. Well, self-care. So your organism is going to survive all the avalanches the universe has for us when you hand one so that's why i like to offer it up and it's the greatest gift i could actually give to anybody else that's how i feel so in in lieu of this being kind of a gentle holiday thing we will have a gentle hip opener showing you two ways to do pigeon ikaraja kapatasana you can lie down this is a variation and just bring that hip in and just let the neck go side to side, right? So some people have tremendous knee stuff, so pigeon pose is really not the way to go. But if you don't have knee stuff, we'll just one leg back, one leg forward. Start here, and then you can know where you're at. I like to start from a moderate place, and then you can go down. You don't know, start at the World Series. You start at the first game training way before it, breathing in and out. Right. Just with the hope every practice to undo the damage that we do in regular life, fitting in where it doesn't fit, pushing when we need to rest, you know, or or not pushing when we need to push, finding balance, homeostasis, that's the goal. Right. We'll find that balance in economy, so Equanimity, equanimity so we can find peace in the most crappy situations and make them work and alchemy turn that coal to a diamond that's the valuable part breathing in breathing out being grateful which is hard during christmas sometimes right up and out giving whatever you can and also giving back to yourself i mean i think give a lot people do tend to give a lot but then ignore themselves so it's like bringing it back home and another twist a lot of twists undo this okay turn and twist nice turn and twist good and then this is just a nice quick restorative and then vipriti karni we're just going to take a block the next set will be more energizing. This was just really cute. A quick set. Put it right under your belly, oh, but your lumbar spine. And here we go. This is your inversion hand on your heart, hand on your belly. So envisioning a new beautiful year through your toes, through your legs, through your belly, through your heart, filled with prosperity. Right? It's called Parapraksha the opposite thought, which is hard to do. But if it has been a fallow period of struggling, maybe the next year you get rewarded for your talents. Things start to work your way. You get to have achievement where there's been failure. You get to have a beautiful new year regardless of what's going on in the world. You take care of yourself regardless of 
whether the universe spits you out and throws up all over you, you can find that integrity to go through. And that's kind of an that's kind of the, the theme, less Charlie Brown, right? That's what yoga does. It's not about it's really just bringing home and bring all that love and the thank you that you came to your yoga mat and your belly and your face right? and just enjoy this and your feet down you can stay there um if it's the morning you want that energy you want to not be lying down you want to bring it up and we'll do a little quick chakra meditation and you'll be on to have a beautiful day a little color meditation a little color therapy little beautiful ruby red in the legs and in the knees and all the way up to the lower back, the L1, and then into the reproductive organs, the hips, nice bright orange, and then a beautiful yellow. And if you notice it's a dull color, maybe your digestive system needs a brighter yellow hue. It's really bright in the back. Think of the back body and the front body even. And just stay there till you feel that bright, bright yellow, or you can visualize it really. And then all the way up and back and bright, like a nice emerald green or a light pink in the heart chakra. And then a nice light blue in the throat, thyroid, parathyroid, being able to speak your truth. It's always an art form. And then into your Agnya Chakra of Wisdom, a nice deep blue. This root and soothing all the thoughts, and just being like the solar system. Beautiful sky full of stars, good thoughts. And then into the top crown chakra, connecting you to all that's way beyond our little world, to everything that's amazing. Nice purple or white. Noticing which colors are brighter and maybe and which colors are weaker and kind of work on the colors that need a little more love. And stay with it. And hands and heart. You have a peaceful new year and good holiday. Namaste.